La la yeah. la la wait till I give my You would probably think it's hot in India all the time, huh? At least I kind of thought, I, I didn't really think too much about it. But yesterday also, I got a call. And I got this great gift though, in birthday. So actually, making use of it, as I'm a little bit sick. Who knew it's cold in India, huh? Eh? <sighs> It's really amazing in India, even though all these buildings kind of from any small earthquake will kind of maybe fall down because they're not they're not too advanced but yeah in this video we are we are going to we're gonna try to find Dalai Lama. I can't wait to actually talk with him about this resource-based economy and if humanity what he get his thoughts about about this kind of system for future of, of humans. Feels good to be be better in making videos, and hopefully, better content will come for you all. And we should pack our bags after and actually start to get to to the bus, so we can try and find Dalai Lama. Number three, he is a self-described Marxist. The Dalai Lama has publicly described himself as half Buddhist, half Marxist? Marxism is, of course, the socialist ideology behind communism. That's right, comrade. The Dalai Lama has publicly criticized capitalism as an inhuman, profit-obsessed ideology devoid of love and compassion. Buddhists, they don't give a shit about money. They're wrapped in sheets. They're not buying well, shit. I'm not, yeah, I'm not talking about Buddhists or Amish. I'm, I'm talking about normal people, working class, everyday people. Everyone wants to get rich. Am I crazy? On the contrary, the Dalai Lama feels his values are closer to Marxism, which is concerned with fulfilling the needs of ordinary people. As a young man, His Holiness even wanted to join the Communist Party himself. I was shaking hands with the face of death in the Amazon. I was in a trance trying to catch my breath, but I couldn't run. This is actually the place where Dalai Lama sleep. They say he's here. Well, I, I've been trying to uh, reach Dalai Lama to, to like ask him something. Uh -huh. yeah. you, you think it's possible? Yeah, you take passport to the court office. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay thank you. Yeah. Excuse me? You speak English? Yes, I do. Is it, is it can I film? Can you take photos? Yeah, absolutely. Is it here you can meet Dalai Lama? Oh, so here's how it works. You right. have to write years in advance. Really? Yeah, and uh, but His Holiness is meeting with... Did you hear that you could come meet him today or no? No. No, no, no. So what happens is... I, I, someone also told me that it might be a possibility in the early morning sometimes. Really? Yeah. yeah. So they are all waiting, but I don't know if they let in anybody or just sometimes he meets with recent refugees, like people who just came over. Okay. And so I don't know. I just, you have to have some sort of paper or something. Yeah. We can stand there and see what happens yeah, for a little yeah, yeah. bit and yeah, maybe yeah. what my experience has been in the past is what's really cool is, I mean, there's this whole crew of people, right? Look, it's a huge crowd. Yeah. And they're coming to meet him um, and they're going inside. Yeah. So, um, all these have got like agreed on the paper that you so. say they have to do one yeah. year at once. Yeah. So I'm trying to like reach him on camera or actually ask him, uh, talk with him, kind of. So here's what you do. 
I have an email yeah. address I can give you. Okay. You can write and request a private audience. Yeah. Right? Uh, so uh, uh. I've done this a few times in the past. Sometimes mm. he says yes. Really? Sometimes he says no. Oh, actually, I was told I'm not allowed to take pictures. But we're making a video, right? So it's not really breaking the law, is it? When they say it like that, is it? Okay, I have to write a, a, a letter and go and deliver it. <coughs> Hi, good morning. Oh. Oh, here's a hotel. I guess it's some chance of getting to print the letter. Hi, good morning. You see, excuse me. Hi, you have a printer? Okay. Printer. So I wrote, Hi there, my name is Daniel. I am from Norway. I came here in hope of meeting Dalai Lama. He is big, right? Yeah. How, how big is he? From a scale from 1 to 14. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have idea. He's but really big, huh? Yeah, he's big. Like he eat too much or? Sorry? He eat he eat too much or? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This one branch security office. Yeah, branch uh, ah, security office. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Maybe you want to see. Maybe you enjoy what I do. Okay. I want I want to reach more humans. As it's for others. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. You too. Ah, branch security office. Yesterday I was filming a little bit close up to my head. And I guess shaking. But I don't have these things to make it good, you know. There's snow. Forget the money, uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. We'll find a way, right guys? Better to have a short and life, girls, that is ladies, what you like doing, and a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you can eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. They say that it's the root of evil. I guess